Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Nika Savans Academy. In this video, we are going to start daily current affairs of 19th and 20th March 2023. But before starting this session, if you have not subscribed our channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon for further notifications. So let's start with the first news. Today's first news first news is inauguration of Ugadi Milan function. So it has been inaugurated by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and conducted by former Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu at his residence in New Delhi. So this is Ugadi or Yugadi is celebrated on the occasion of the commencement of the new year and especially celebrated with pomp. So it is celebrated with the beginning of the new Hindu calendar year was begin with Chaitra months. Iske baad hamari next news mein hai inauguration of exhibition of Geoffrey Bava in New Delhi. So it is essential, iske jo theme hai, it is essential to be there. This exhibition that is the National Gallery of Modern Art has been inaugurated by the External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar in New Delhi. So this Geoffrey Bava is a joint alliance between National Gallery of Modern Art in New Delhi, the High Commission of Sri Lanka in New Delhi, in which Geoffrey Bawa Trust portrays the architectural works of Sri Lanka's renowned architect, that is, late Geoffrey Bawa. Iske baad hamari next news mein hai. India Post, jinone memorandum of understanding sign ki hai with ship rocket. So. India's leading postal service provider, that is India Post, in one MOU sign kiya hai with Ship Rocket, which is a leading logistic aggregator company. This objective hai to boost last mile delivery services for various e commerce products. Iske lava ye jo deal hai, it will provide shipping and last mile delivery services to the Ship Rocket's 3 lakh strong seller base, this may hai startups small and medium businesses etc iske baad hamari next news mein hai national humanities model so the white house has declared that us president joe biden will confer this national humanities medals 2021 upon several recipients including indian american actress comedian and writer mindy kaling also known as vera mindy chokalinga so, you know, National Humanities Medals, hai, that is National Medals of Arts, is the most notable award granted by the U.S. government to artists, art advocates and organizations. Iske baad hamari next news hai, Team Pain declared retirement from all forms of cricket, matlab internationally bhi or national cricket se bhi. So, Team Pain was a former Australia Test Cricket captain declared his retirement uh, following the conclusion of Tasmania's Sheffield Shield first class match against Queensland. So, this is wicket keeper hai, that is Team Pain, captain Australia by playing 35 tests overall and has become Australia's 46th test keeper after captaincy of Steve Smith on Australia's 2018 2 of South Africa. Iske baad hamari next news hai. Formation of 19 districts and 3 new divisions in Rajasthan. Iske pehle Madhya Pradesh mein abhi kuch din pehle ki news hai. Madhya Pradesh mein kuch nai districts form karke merge karke ek naya district banaya gaya that is 53rd district. Or ye hai Rajasthan ke districts. So 19 new districts and 3 new divisions in the state of Rajasthan has been created with an outlay of total rupees 2000 crore for the development and infrastructure of these newly formed districts and divisions. So this is the first time after 2008 the new districts are being formed. So now the total number of districts are 50 in the state. Also, at the time of announcement by Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot in Rajasthan Assembly 2023-24 to 24, budget passed away with a voice vote. Or Rajasthan ke Chief Minister hai Shri Ashok Gehlot. Iske baad hamari next news mein hai workshop on human factors engineering. 
in military platforms by DRDO. So this is a two-day workshop on human factors engineering in military platforms which is being organized by uh, Defense Institute of Physiology and Allied Sciences that is DEPAS which is the Delhi best laboratory of the Defense Research and Development Organization and was inaugurated by the Chief Defense Staff General Anil Chauhan on March 15 in New Delhi. This objective is to establish a policy framework and practices that ensure the scientific implementation of human factors engineering in the defense sector. Iske baad hamari next news mein hai. Nepal and India signed agreement to formulate modality to supply electricity to Indian states via Bihar. So, is me jo Nepal ne India ke saath agreement sign ki hai to formulate a modality to supply electricity from Nepal to multiple states of India through central transmission line via Bihar grid. So, ye 14th time hai jab India ne sign kiya hai MOU with Nepal and the meeting of Nepal India Power Exchange Committee concluded in New Delhi with the aim to implement modalities for export of power from Nepal to various states of India via Bihar route. इसके बाद हमारी नेक्स्ट न्यूज़ में है निवली लॉन्च जर्नी योजन पोर्टल फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन सो दिस पोर्टल हैज बीन इनोग्रेटेड बाय झारखंड चीफ मिनिस्टर हेमंत सोरेन एंड क्रिएटेड बाय द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लेबर प्लानिंग ट्रेनिंग एंड स्किल डेवलपमेंट इन द चीफ मिनिस्टर्स चैंबर एट द झारखंड लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली सो ये जो पोर्टल है हैज बीन क्रिएटेड सो दैट द गवर्नमेंट विल ट्राई टू ऑफर अ प्लेटफार्म to employees and candidates looking for employment. Iske saath saath is portal pe jo employers hai wo information share karte hai kar sakte hai about their business and manpower related to it on this portal. Aur uske according jo candidates hai jo jobs ke liye apply karenge wo apne preference ke according is job ke liye apply kar sakte hai. इसके बाद हमारी नेक्स्ट न्यूज़ में है फॉर टूरिज्म एंड कल्चरल कैपिटल ऑफ शंघाई कोऑपरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो काशी दैट इज वाराणसी हैज बीन प्रोक्लेम्ड द फॉर टूरिज्म एंड कल्चरल कैपिटल ऑफ द शंघाई कोऑपरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द रिसेंटली कंडक्टेड मीटिंग ऑफ द एस सी ओ हेड्स ऑफ टूरिज्म एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हेल्ड इन वाराणसी जिसका ऑब्जेक्टिव है फॉर टूरिज्म एंड कल्चरल कैपिटल ऑफ द शंघाई कोऑपरेशन इज टू ब्रिंग the city with greater prominence on the global tourist map and to create more attention by highlighting the spiritualism, mysticism and learning of Kashi. So, this is our 19th and 20th March 2023 current affairs. So, that's all for today. Thank you.